Yo, what is going on guys? It's the one and only one Hennis and today I am bringing another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video over here onto my channel. Now today guys, what I'm going to be showing you are all of the camos that we have available to us right now in the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare beta. So if you guys aren't aware, the beta has officially dropped and we have some pretty cool camos that we can actually unlock as of right now in the first iteration of the beta because as you guys know, we will be getting a second round of the beta next weekend which is extremely exciting alongside the Xbox One because the PS4 has it right now which is really exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and showcase to you guys all of the camos that we have so far in this game. We're going to compare them a little bit to BO3. I'm going to share my opinions on them and then I'm going to want to hear you guys' opinions on them as well. But ladies and gentlemen, if you do go ahead and enjoy today's video, please be sure to go ahead and smack a like, guys. A like rating would be very much appreciated. 100 likes is going to be our like goal for today. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new so you can stay up to date with all Call of Duty Infinite Warfare news, leaks, rumors, gameplays, all that good stuff. You won't want to miss any of the content I'll be posting. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So you guys can already see, by the way, I'm already level 25. I've been absolutely grinding this game incredibly hard. I want to get up to, I believe the level cap as of right now is level 30, which will be pretty cool to hit. And then I'll be able to obviously have access to everything as of right now in the beta, because I'll be the highest level I could possibly be. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and check out the camos here. So we're going to go down to create a class, and I'm just going to go ahead and choose the very first assault rifle that you unlock within Call of Duty Infinite Warfare in the beta, and that is the NV4. Now, once you have the NV4 selected, you can click Personalize, and then go to Camouflage. Now here, underneath the Multiplayer tab, we'll look at these camos first. These are the camos that you unlock from actually using the weapon within the game. So camos that you would get from getting kills, headshots, stuff like that. So the first one, obviously, is just a none camo this is just you know a camo with nothing on it essentially and then we'll look at here the next camo is the desert camo now these are all pretty standard camos camos that we've seen for in uh, previous call of duties the lower tier camos camos that you get after completing 50 kills which is the challenge that you have to get and actually go go ahead and complete and unlock this desert camo so the next one we got here is urban tack and I, I'm just looking at these camos right now in comparison to the camos that we've seen back in Black Ops 3. And these ones have a little bit more of a shine to them, which I really like. They look really, really attractive. And in all honesty, I think they have a bit more of a realistic look to them than the camos that we saw back in Black Ops 3. But that's just my opinion. Like always, let me know what you guys think about that down there in the comment section below. Next camo that we'll look at here is actually the Wilderness camo. Now, this is where the camos start to get a little bit more interesting. Obviously, as we get more kills, the camos are going to get more elaborate because they want to reward you with cooler camos. And uh, this, this uh, Wilderness one honestly looks really cool in my opinion. I think it's definitely looking cooler than the Desert camo. I'm not sure exactly if I think it looks better than the Urban Tat camo because I'm a huge fan of these sort of dark, very rustic, very manly looking camos I guess is what I would say and the urban tack one honestly looks really great there on the NV4 so I'm honestly really liking that urban tack camo I should probably throw it on but uh, let's move right along here. The next camo that we've got here is the Mars camo. And this is actually unlocked by getting 200 kills with this weapon. Now, unfortunately, I only have 103 kills, so I have quite a ways to go before I can actually unlock this camo. But it's a pretty bland camo, in my opinion. Now, even though it does have that shine on it, like I was talking about earlier, it doesn't really have a whole lot of substance to it. And a whole lot of creativity, I guess is what I should say. It literally looks like someone poured mud on this weapon, or someone literally was going prone through like a mud pit with this gun or something like that. But once you get past the Mars camo, you'll actually see that the Arctic tech camo does look a little bit cooler it does look significantly better than the previous four camos that we saw and the challenge for this is available after the mars camo was unlocked so i actually don't have the mars camo unlocked just yet so i don't know what the challenge is to get the arctic camo i'm assuming it's going to be something like headshots or maybe bloodthirsties or revenge kills or something like that double kills uh whatever it may be very similar to what we saw again back in black ops 2 with uh camo unlocks and challenges the next camo that we're going to look at is the murdered out camo this camo honestly looks really cool and out of all of the camos that we've gone over here so far. This one's probably my favorite, just looking at it now. It's definitely cooler looking, I would say, than the Urban Tat camo, which would make sense because it is sort of a higher, more elite camo that you actually have to go ahead and unlock, and it looks really, really nice. And in all honesty, I'm probably gonna be grinding out the uh, NV4 because not only is it a really good weapon, but I really want that try out, try out that camo as well because it looks dope. So the next camo that we're gonna look at here is the Whiteout camo, which is literally just white. It's literally a complete whiteout of the weapon, which honestly looks pretty cool. So it's kind of interesting that we have a very dark camo and then we go to a very light camo. That's pretty interesting. But I like the little bit of a hint of dark that we have on the tip of the muzzle on that weapon, just to show a little bit of a wear and tear. You can see that on the magazine handle as well, a little bit on the stock and a little bit around the trigger where the person's hands would usually be. So Infinity Ward really went for a very realistic look when actually making these weapons, which I personally really admire. Uh, the next camo that we'll look at is called Moshav. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but this this looks more like your standard sort of military 
camouflage outfit. When you guys picture like military personnel, or at least for me, I picture a camo that looks very similar to this, including a camo that would be on their outfits. I don't know. That's just sort of how I should say uniforms, not outfits. That's uh, very similar to, you know, a camo that I would usually see as more of a stereotypical military camo. And then the very last camo is your coral mesh camo. Now this one, honestly, it's got this sort of reddish, oranges tint to it, very similar to like a coral reef or just coral colors in general. It's very vibrant, a very energetic color. But in all honesty, guys, I'm looking at all these multiplayer camos and while they do look pretty cool, they're nowhere near as cool as what we saw back in Black Ops 3. In my opinion, I really like the snow job camo, which I think was unlocked just simply after getting 30 headshots with that weapon. And that camo was incredibly cool. So I think Treyarch, in my personal opinion, does a little bit bit of a job of making these camos a little bit more creative. But again, Infinity Ward's got their own style in there. I think they're definitely nailing what they're trying to go for here in the multiplayer category but let's move on to the next category here we've got the armory category now all of these camos you can unlock via supply drops or via weapon challenges as well because i've only opened up one supply drop so far here on my account and you're given 30 keys as soon as you open up the beta i opened up a rare supply drop and i didn't get any of these camos so these must have been camos that i unlocked somehow by completing challenges i'm not exactly sure what those challenges are yet but I believe you can't unlock them by also completing challenges as well. But don't hold me to that because maybe the Neon Tiger camo and maybe the Stud camo were actually two weapons I got out of that supply drop, but I don't actually remember opening them up. But nonetheless, I know for a fact you can open them up in supply drops, just not sure if you can get them through weapon challenges as well. But nonetheless, let's go through them. These camos are a bit more elite. You guys can see right off the bat, we start off with the Neon Tiger camo. This camo looks incredibly cool, right? We've seen camos very similar to this. This is sort of what I would say is more along the lines of what Treyarch does. They make these very vibrant, very cool looking camos. And again, we see more of a little bit of a tint, a little bit of a wear and tear on the uh, muzzle of the weapon, which is cool. So Infinity War has really done a really great job at making these weapons look pretty realistic in my opinion, with a bit of a used look, which honestly is really cool for a first person shooter game. Now with the stud camo, this is pretty much the diamond lookalike, except it's a bit more exaggerated, right? The diamonds are obviously a little bit bigger, but it is diamond colored, but it's got a little bit more of a silver shade to it. I don't know. It's not quite the diamond that we're used to, I would say from previous Call of Duties. Next, we've got the anodized camo, which in my opinion looks a lot like Jungle Party, I think is what it was. And I don't remember if that was from Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3, but I know we've seen a camo very similar to this in a previous Call of Duty. Again, it looks really, really sick. And again, this is very similar to what I really like about camos, these very vibrant, very colorful ones. Next one is tactical pink. And this one is literally just pink, similar to the whiteout camo. It's literally just all one color with a few textures here and there. Again, with the little bit of a wear and tear that Infinity War took the time to add, which is awesome. Next one is Silver Falcon. This one does have a bit more of a chrome look to it, I would say. Uh, more so than the stud camo or the diamond camo is what I would call it uh, that we saw previously. And this one looks really cool as well because it looks like it's got a little bit more of a physical texture to it. So when you hold it, it would have a bit more of a textural, more of a grippy feel to it, which looks really cool. And honestly, I'm really looking forward to use if we can actually get that out of supply drop that would be pretty dope. And the next one here is Psychedelic. And again, I believe we either saw this the more i think about it it could have been in advanced warfare as well but i know we've seen camos very similar to these in previous call of duty so these are camos like i said that you can get out of supply drops and may be able to get completing weapon challenges but again i'm not sure on that correct me down there in the comment section below if i'm wrong but anyways guys that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you guys did be sure to go ahead and smack a like guys like i said 100 likes is gonna be our like goal for today subscribe to my channel as well if you guys are new so you can stay up to date with all call of duty infinite warfare news and let me know down there in the comment section below because this is just the beta what other camos would you like to see come into the full game of Infinite Warfare? Whether that's maybe the Dark Matter camo, or maybe you'd like to see some of these camos that we've gone over adjusted, let me know your opinions in the comment section. Thank you all so very much for watching. Comment down below, hashtag camo if you watch up to this point in the video. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming as always. Stay cool. Adios.